Hey guys, good to see you again. It's been another very exciting weekend in France. First wins for Monaco and Marseille. PSG struggling with our Ibra, Bordeaux top of the league. Lance, one of the promoted teams, getting their first win. And Caen, one of the other promoted teams, winning again, which means they even have one more point than PSG in the table. Here are the five things we've learned in France this weekend. Right, let's start with Bordeaux. You would have never put money on them at the start of the season, but they are top of the league. I know we're only three weeks in the season, but still, they're the only team in France with three wins in the first three matches. Willy Sagnol, who was appointed in the summer for his first job as a club manager after only six months with the France under 21 team, is doing a great job so far. His coaching is brilliant. He's managed to change the course of the last two games, for example, when his team went one nil down. He's brought a lot new of ideas, philosophy and new enthusiasm to the club and to the squads. And the team is solid and efficient. That's exactly what they were at Nice this weekend with a 3-1 win. It's nothing, nothing extraordinary yet, especially in terms of football, but it's a very promising and interesting start for Le Bordelais. This is a message for Edinson Cavani. Eddie, I know you're watching those video columns on The Guardian, so this is just for you. It's always the same thing, mate, always the same thing. Whether you put too much pressure on yourself, whether you, you don't know anymore how to play in that position, I, I'm not sure, but you have to do better. You have to stop being so disappointing when you start on your own up front for PSG. It happened again on Friday evening away at Evian where the team drew nil-nil and you missed two big chances once again. Ibra is injured. This is your big chance to impress in that lone striker role. That's where you want to play. That's where you demand to play. And you really have to do better than what you showed at Evian on Friday. The Italians used to have Mario Balotelli. The English have Ricky Lambert. And in France, we have Riyad Boudibouz, the Bastia offensive midfielder. He's a master at taking penalties. At the weekend at home against Toulouse, he scored a winning goal. On the penalty, obviously, it was the 13th of his career, all in Ligue 1, and he has scored them all. Since statistics started, no one has done better than him in France. So let's see if this season, a goalkeeper can stop the Algerian international and his precise left foot to score yet again from the penalty spot. Finally, after just over seven months, Radamel Falcao started uh, his first Ligue 1 game at the weekend. He was against Nantes on Sunday evening and he did what he does best. He scored the winning goal. It was the usual one chance, one goal for El Tigre, who's roaring again. It's two goals in the first three Liga games of the season for Falcao now. And this was such a crucial win for Monaco after two initial defeats in the season. It's a big relief for Leonardo Jardim, the manager. And hopefully this win away at Nantes really will kick off the season and will bring Falcao back to his best. And last but not least, I don't even try to pronounce his name, but Lalena Nomanjananari can almost have his statue in Lens now. Why? Because the Malagasia International scored the winning goal for the promoted team away at Lyon on Sunday afternoon. It was their first goal of the season for the first win of the season. They had such a tough summer. They had to fight with the league to get their promotion validated because of a financial issue between the league and the owner. They're still not allowed to sign anyone because of that financial problem between the league and the owner. But yet they managed to pull out that great win at Lyon on Sunday afternoon. For Lyon, however, the nightmare continues. Three games this week, three defeats, and they lost yet another player on injury. Well, a great Sunday was for Lens, but well, a really poor one for Lyon. Right, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll be back soon for the five things to look forward to next weekend in France. If you haven't subscribed yet to our YouTube channel, don't worry, just, just click here to subscribe and get all the coverage from Ligue 1, from the Premier League and all the other big European leagues. Have a good week and see you soon. Take care.